Hello guys, this is Adam and welcome to the Adam Lab. This is the Mac Studio and we are finally doing the test for Mac Studio and we will start with a Blender 3.1. This is the base model Mac Studio. So we're looking at 24 core GPU, the M1 Max, 10 core CPU with 512 gigabyte SSD, which I do not recommend at all. The minimum storage that I recommend you go with is one terabyte. A plus we're looking at 32 gigabyte of RAM, which is definitely sufficient. Um, and you can go with that. BMW project right here. And that is for the GPU and the preferences, um, Apple M1 Max GPU enabled. And then we will be using supported cycles. So we will render that and we will see how how long it would take so we will go ahead and render it right here and we are starting keep in mind the same project using the GPU on the M1 Max with 64 gigabyte of RAM fully spec'd out 8 terabyte SSD but that was on the 16 inch MacBook Pro what we got was 58 seconds and here what we are looking at uh, probably is a minute and 30 seconds maybe just because you do have 24 cores of GPU and instead of 32 cores plus you have way less RAM as well and speaking about the RAM I would like to see the RAM usage when we are working with this a project so this right here and what we are looking at the memory usage of 15 gigabytes so we have the cached memory is a 16 gigabyte and the used memory is at 15 so 15 plus 16 that's 31 gigabytes so what we are looking at right now is 31 gigabytes the swap memory is zero but keep in mind there is 16 gigabytes that is cached i don't have anything open aside from epic in the back Background, epic games but it's not running or doing anything and I do have a project that I am unzipping but that project will depend on the CPU rather than the GPU so this was done and after it's done the usage for the RAM went to 13 gigabytes instead of 15 and then we are looking at 1 minute and 17 seconds now what I want to do to cancel the unzipping I want to do this project again and see if we will get 1 minute and 17 17 seconds as well or something close to that or we will get something way less just because that was unzipping in the background we will go ahead and run it again right now so we will go ahead and click render and then this time we're looking at nothing in the background running and then let's go ahead and see let's see the RAM usage so it's still the same we are still looking I believe probably at around one minute now which means that will shave around 17 seconds but it's not done yet our usage for the RAM is 14 gigabytes and what we have cached is 17 usually you should not care about what is cache because what is cache is simply so the system can run a quicker so the memory used while you're doing that is 14 gigabytes which is very similar to what we were using a second ago and that was 15 gigabytes so it's not a huge difference we're looking at 58 seconds so this is a slower by two seconds than the fully specced out 16 inch macbook pro so the macbook pro 16 inch was faster by two seconds where it was 56 and this one is 58 now one thing we need to keep in mind this only has a 24 cores so i would assume having the extra 32 cores which is only extra like 200 dollars which i recommend getting it we will definitely see an equal result a plus Keep in mind that a blender still need more optimization to the M1. It's definitely gotten better, but I would say it needs more optimization in the future. So right now we're looking at 58 seconds for the M1 Max Max Studio base model compared to the fully spec'd out version of the M1 Max with the 16 inch MacBook Pro. So that is the test for a blender when it comes to the GPU. We will go ahead and test the CPU right now. So we will go ahead 
ahead and open that and then click on save and then we want to do cpu supported and then we will click render and then let me do this and let me do that so we can see how much ram we are using so the ram is still at 12 gigabytes here we are looking at four minutes for the projects to be done let's take a look at the cpu and then see how the cpu would work so we're looking at the cpu being completely utilized and then what we have being used right now is 95 percent which is almost everything with a 12 gigabyte from the ram for if you can see right now right here we have all the um the efficiency cores being used both of them and all the performance cores are being used as well the gpu as well which is right here and let's see if the gpu is being used at all the gpu is being used a little bit but keep in mind since the gpu and the cpu are combined into one chassis or into one module then that would be used a little bit but right now it's not being used at all because in the previous uh, test it was completely used but now it's just a little bit and what it's being used 100% is the CPUs on both ends. So I actually just went to my channel and watched my Blender test for uh, the M1 Max 16 inch MacBook Pro and actually the results were a three minutes and 20 seconds. So three minutes and 20 seconds on the, on the fully specced out 16 inch. While here we're looking at is three minutes and 40 seconds so this is a slower by 20 seconds but again keep in mind on the 16 inch macbook pro we do have more ram granted here that i'm not using any swap memory which means that i'm is not a factor because here you do have enough ram and enough memory and there you do have enough ram and enough memory so this is not a factor but what you should keep in mind is you do have a 32 core gpu instead of 24 uh, gpu so here you have 24 core there you have 32 core 20 seconds it's not bad it's not bad at all because if we are looking at the gpu performance we're only talking two seconds difference and if we're talking about the cpu it's a 20 seconds difference so it's not a huge and i am sure if we get the extra cores here on the m1 max for the max studio which is only extra 200 dollars and i definitely recommend getting it and instead of getting 24 cores and we will actually go ahead and get the 32 cores we will 100 percent get the uh, same results that we are getting on the other machine uh, we would get here does that mean this machine is bad for a blender no this machine is amazing for a blender and i 100 recommend it the, my only grape would be if you are getting the base model i would go with at least one terabyte and maybe go with two terabytes if you can and if you can spulge the extra 200 dollars then go ahead and add the 32 core gpu instead of the 24 core uh, gpu you as well and if you are a student and you want to know how to save money on buying the mac studio i do have a video on the channel just go ahead and search it where you will actually save money on purchasing the mac studio with the discount that was the test for a blender with the bmw test